Hey everyone, this is Battery Blade and welcome to a new video where we're gonna charge our Tesla Model 3 using our Kia EV6. And we have the vehicle to load function and let's see if it will work, if it will charge or if it might just break our Kia. Let's try it out. Now the next step is we gotta get our Kia's vehicle to load adapter. And it came free with our car, but our car didn't come with any sort of mobile connector. It told us that you either get a mobile connector or this vehicle to load uh, thing. Now we're gonna unzip our case and see what comes with it. Got a nice connector right here. It's got a metal latch. See, very high quality. Here's the pins right there. And this is what this side looks like. Take it out, got a plug on it. Now let's get started. Now we open our charge port. We have our CCS plug and we just put it right in there. Clicks, we're in there. Now what you do is you gotta click the button on there to click start and your car is uh, now locked in there with the green light and nobody can pull this out even if you undo it. And even if you click off the green light, I still can't pull it out and this will stay locked in there until you unlock the car with the key or the door button. This is so that way nobody steals it. Now we just need our Tesla mobile connector, which this came free with our previous Model 3. Thanks, Cass. One of my grabs with a mobile connector is I can never fit it back in the bag, so it's always hanging out like that. Now, can, uh, you don't want to do that. Plug in this end to our Kia. Will it flash green or red? See, Tesla is green. Will it let us charge? Let's find out. it shows that we are charging you can see the green light right there and are we getting we're getting a full kilowatt of power 12 amps 119 volts now let's check out our Kia EV6 and what it says inside inside our Kia EV6 it says that we are losing 1.4 kilowatts of power transferring it vehicle to load now I'm just wondering if we can do the indoor outlet inside the interior at the same time as the outdoor one. Now we're going to let it sit for a few hours, see if the Kia will trip or and it will let us keep charging our Tesla. But I think this might be a good portable battery better than the uh, EcoFlows for uh, emergency roadside assistance. I think that this is an extremely cool Kia EV6 feature that... Uh, you can use your Kia EV6 to save a stranded electric car on the side of the road. Just the only problem is that it might take 21 hours. But let's say if you're just a few miles from a gas station, or not a gas station, a uh, charger, you can just easily plug in. And so we're doing pretty well. I'll just unplug. Sorry about the road noise. But uh, yeah. And the Kia EV6 has a uh, it's a good feature for power outages. Uh, do it for overall. I think that this is a super cool feature for the Kia EV6, and I just wish that our Tesla Model Three could do it because Tesla they've got pretty much everything but they need the uh, vehicle to grid. And I know they have power walls, but uh, I don't really like power walls because you gotta buy something else and you get a big old battery pack. You don't really need them. But yeah, now let's try to get this off. Because uh, like I said, you can't pull this off and steal this. You could only steal the mobile connector. If you press power, it won't let you take it off. 
So the way you get this off is you got to unlock the door. Uh, the door doesn't have an unlock button. It's this door. You go in here, you click unlock. That way nobody steals the power out of it. And then it just easily comes on. Oh, never mind, because it's still plugged in, so you turn it off. But now it's locked again. This was the problem we had when we first tried this out. Now you just unlock it. This is the charging adapter. You can see it's pretty cool. Can handle uh, a lot of power. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that it has a ground on the top and bottom for uh, either way. I don't know any... Oh, it's really strange. I've never seen a dual ground outlet. Because anything with the ground would be polarized, I'd imagine. But maybe not. I don't know. But uh, cool thing. And only EV6 owners and... EGMP platform cars can use this so you can't just put this into a Tesla or Bolt or whatever and get power. I really wish Tesla had this feature because it can easily do what a uh, generator does if it's just powering your fridges. Simple as that, extension cord, you're all good. And that's definitely a big advantage this car has. And the other thing I forgot to mention is other than the uh, cheap plastic you feel the actual like connector i think is very high quality i'm not worried about it overheating if you did this overnight uh it, i trust that high on or not high on day but the people who make this would make it uh good because this metal latch tells me they care because Thank you for watching. This has been Battery Blade, and I'll see you next time for maybe a Model 3 review or the EV6, whichever one you choose. Goodbye.